Okay. So, Mr. Uh, not 220 haircut, now it's a 180 volt haircut. What do you want to rant about yes. today? Uh, first, uh, let's say that we are at home at last. <laughs> so, home at last. So, are we are we talking about Steely Dance songs now or are we talking about IT? I actually heard the rant about Steely Dance... Uh, Steely, uh, st um, about Steely Dance song yesterday, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to go into the into that today. But what I was was going to go and rant about is: Can we freaking have a normal mobile phone uh, at last? Uh, January January has ended. February has ended. March is coming on, uh, and I think that everybody is in that seasonal. Uh, part of the introduction of new phones when uh, the mobile uh, World Congress is coming on, coming on. Mm -hmm. and I have seen a lot of uh, mobile phones being introduced and I cannot say anything other than how incredibly boring. Really? How I... incredibly boring. Okay, please teach me because I haven't had the chance to check any of the news related to that and I really want to know. Uh, first, Everybody and their brother introduced the next uh, mobile phone that they already had. So, mm -hmm. Galaxy Flip 5. Uh, we are expecting iPhone 15. Mm -hmm. We are expecting uh, the next... So, basically, whatever the phone was in the market, and then plus one. Mm -hmm. So, this is, this is the first thing. First thing. Absolutely, I have seen absolutely none of the interesting things that I would like to see. No new technologies, no new ideas, but just uh, evolution of what was before. And then they said they're basically saying, okay, we are going to turn this into a chat uh, AI enabled phone. <laughs> Everybody freaking has a chat AI enabled phone. Why? Why? Because, as the French would say, c'est le mode d'aujourd'hui. Yes, but to be completely honest to themselves, they, are, they weren't able to do anything. Uh, when they uh, started uh, seeing that the AI is something that is going to stick around. So they didn't have the time. Mm -hmm. AI has been around for the last two months or so. So this is just going to be a tech on on normal phones that, uh, that is going to be probably just a half-baked application that is going to connect to ChatGPT. They're going to do it um, Samsung style the way that they did the uh, cloud uh, services. So basically, they bought the vouchers for all the cloud services and said, okay, you're going to get two, uh, two years of whatever storage was available at the moment. Thank you, thank you. I know so, what you're to talking about, and thank you for reminding me of my pain. Yes, so basically, uh, we are going to get uh, a voucher for ChatGPT for five months, uh, six months, one year, whatever, and then this is going to be an AI-made phone. <laughs> because I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything in the interesting. I have seen that uh, One OnePlus is innovating by uh, introducing the version 11, uh, foldable phones is version uh, 5, uh, they all have new concepts, they are talking about 6G. Can I ask uh, something? Yes? A very, very pertinent question, not so much. Who yes. in his right mind or her right mind cares about foldable phone? First and foremost, uh, I have seen at least one of our colleagues uh, that has one. Mm -hmm. So I have seen it at work and it doesn't, it, it's not that it's a bad thing to have as a phone. It is just the implementation and the price is insane. Mm -hmm. I would like a foldable phone uh, as my daily driver, but basically, you know what car I drive? Mm -hmm. Basically, the phone, uh, the phones that are right now on the market are more uh, expensive than the car I drive. Okay. All the others I drive a uh, 20 years old smart car. Uh, that is completely fine with me. Mm. It has well, less technology than uh, than a Nokia, but it works. Yeah, I just wanted to add to that. You know very well that I'm a foldable, uh, like foldable Nokia man. So I'm with you in principle. I just had a chance to play with that phone and it seems to be completely useless to me. And uh, uh, continuing on what you just said, which was the implementation, the implementation is not all that good. A lot of the applications just look very bad on it. 
Uh, I don't see. I don't see the point because the problem is the aspect ratio of the phone itself. Mm -hmm. So basically, most of the content right now is made for the phones that are either vertical or horizontal. Nothing is made for a square screen. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, they have tried to fold over an, an iPad, but uh, went with the square screen, uh, which completely misses the point. Okay. So, so basically, what you can do is, if you are uh, looking at the sixteen times ten uh, aspect ratio uh, on normal video, you are basically missing the completely the point of the double screen. And the only thing that the double screen is uh, good for is uh, writing and reading from the web pages, but usually the writing. And for that, then you are suddenly losing uh, space for your keyboard. So either way, I don't see, I don't see the, I don't see the point of all of this okay. right now. Okay. So let's uh, uh, bring this short segment to a close, and uh, let's let's uh, let's say that we need to ask a very good question, which is, you said that you don't like any of them; that they are just reiterations of the existing, existing, existing stuff, which I agree with. What would you like to see in a new phone that would kind of like technologically excite you, in a sense? Uh, right now. I'm getting uh, increasingly insane, and I think that I'm going to go for the closest thing that uh, Nokia, that Nokia communicator was. So I'm <laughs> going to go with uh, the Cosmo communicator uh, phone that is currently right now on sale. Mm -hmm. You know what, which phone I'm talking about? Yes, we mentioned it in one of the previous episodes. Yes, so I think that I'm going to go fall in and uh, see what I can do uh, on that front, because having a even a glimpse of a normal keyboard on a phone, mm -hmm. and even an idea of what uh, Communicator was on about. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the Communicator, the, the new generation of Communicators doesn't have an outside keyboard, so you need to flip it on, uh, flip it out to be able to uh, call somebody. But mm -hmm. I think that even this is going to be better than what is, uh, most phones uh, offer uh, today. Okay. Uh, I, I want to ask something which is kind of related to one of the topics that we covered previously. Are you going semi-insane? Basically, you're going semi-retro, but at the same time, do you want me to mock you for the choice that you just made and what you selected for your future driver, if, if that's the thing that you are going to actually buy? But I'm completely prepared for any mocking because I'm usually the guy who is uh, having the most stupid phone there is. I'm the one who was actually uh, using Treo uh, <laughs> back way then. And uh, I had a colleague uh, when I was working in the when I was working in the IT journalism. I had a calling uh, a colleague that uh, sh she always uh, asked me, "Why are you holding the plate against your head?" Mm -hmm. Because the trea was so un ungainly uh, huge uh, thing that basically uh, covered the, the entirety of the head and the entirety of the face. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not unused to uh, unused of using uh, the phones that are basically completely insane and make completely no sense. Okay, and final so question, which is, which, is, which is very important. Very, very important. The most important topic. Is it going to run Kubernetes? Probably yes. Probably yes. I would, I would, go, I would guess uh, with the amount of memory it has and the amount of, uh, amount of uh, CPU power it has, I think it would be completely normal to see Kubernetes on today's uh, Android phone. That was so, so awesome. A phone that has 12 gigabytes of RAM <laughs> and a phone that has eight uh, cores mm -hmm. is basically completely okay uh, to run Kubernetes. It, okay, maybe not Kubernetes, but a Docker or two. Okay. So to wrap and this up. This, this is something that I would, I would like. Okay. If you give me another phone, uh, I don't know, uh, iPhone uh, Xiaomi uh, 27. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that they do is uh, the phone is able to run uh, Docker's now. Mm -hmm. I'm completely fine with it. Okay, let's revisit that topic after, uh, after let's say, you had a little bit of a play with your new phone. And while we do that, let's wrap it up and say, so uh, MWC fail. That's it. MWC, uh, nothing to see there. Move along. Uh, let's see what's going to happen uh, in, the last, uh, in the later part of the year. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, with that being said, bye-bye.